Hi, welcome to my channel. Today's video, detachment being an absolute game changer, which it is. But detachment is quite scary to some people and they think that just seems, I, that is impossible for me to detach. It is not impossible for you to detach. You do not need to be 100% detached, but you need to balance yourself and 60-40 is awesome. I'm talking about detachment on all uh, levels, like not on all levels, I'm, I'm talking about detachment in life in general, not just that one particular thing that you want. So if you learn detachment, the art of detachment, or just naturally going into a state of detachment, naturally not being in a huge state of attachment, I guess, uh, everything becomes easier. One, you don't care so much, so you're not so attached because you don't care so much, so that feels good, that feels better, and two, your energy is such that things are drawn to you. You are drawing things to you left, right and centre with your detachment, but you do not need to be 100%. I don't think I'm ever 100% detached, but I am more of a state of detachment than I am attachment, and that's what you're looking at. How do you even start doing that? You switch your attention from those things that you want to detachment. So detachment becomes your intention. Detachment and a feeling of inner freedom. That's the sort of thing I've gone with. And I still do self um, use self-talk for inner freedom now because there's nothing better than it. And it never hurts me to say it a few times a day. So you, your um, intention is, I intend to be more detached in life. Don't be scared of it. It doesn't mean you won't want things. I still want things. I still want things a lot sometimes, but I can just feel that I don't have that anchor to it, that thread that's holding it to me, um, that's kind of, I'm not setting it free in order for it to be with me. I'm not allowing it to come to me if I'm in a state of huge attachment. But if you set that intention already, reality is conspiring with the universe to help you to become more detached. So maybe you'll wake up tomorrow even and you'll see something online and you'll read it or listen to it and you'll say, oh my God, and it will resonate with you in the moment like that. Something will go in you and something will switch or you'll just wake up and you'll feel slightly more detached or you'll practice the, the term um, detachment. So wake up in the morning, the first thing you say when you get up, maybe you're having your breakfast, detachment. You don't just say, I am detached. We're just looking for the feeling of detachment. Detachment has its unique energy, its unique vibration. And by saying that word, you are implementing it into your life. You are evoking the energy of detachment for yourself because everything is for you. Everything you do and say is for you. It's for your reality. This is your reality, not mine, it's yours. So you say detachment and then you might say freedom or inner peace, anything like that. Saying things like this, you can say, I have inner peace, I am free, or I am detached. I have just never been a huge one for I am. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. But if you avoid using it, if it does give you any resistance, you will find a whole different feeling to saying the word than saying I am. Honestly, there's a different feeling about it and it's much less resistance building. But anyway, in any case, I am detached is not going to give you any resistance much. I wouldn't have thought. Don't just don't worry that that thing that you want is going to slip away from you if you become detached. Let's look at this from a really sensible point of view here. If you feel detached, you are going to feel better. And being attached to something does not feel good because we have a very negative need for it. Um, you might have like an anxious attached attachment thing going on with a person. That's not good and it's never going to make you feel good. So whatever happens, you will feel better. And if you feel better, life just becomes a bit brighter, doesn't it? If you don't have that element of attachment going on. Freedom, you feel free inside. There's nothing better than feeling free inside. Just waking up in the morning and feeling like the things that you want are there and you know they're still there. You know they don't, they're not in your life yet, but you're going to get on with your day and enjoy your day. And you're not going to think about them that much and you won't. Because the more you practice the vibration of detachment, and like I said, the vibration is the energy, but it's actually a feeling. We'll just call, call it feeling, the feeling of detachment. You might say the word and you might think, well, I don't really feel anything. It doesn't matter. It's whatever it is to you. To me, I say detachment and I can feel it. I can feel it. It's a weird thing because it's not like a strong feeling that envelops my body. It's just the word has a kind of a feeling to me but equally I speak to people that don't feel that they get any feeling at all and it still works for them it doesn't matter because it's you might feel things strongly or you might not feel things strongly I feel things strongly and I think maybe it's something to do with my very empathetic empathetic 
nature, maybe, I don't know, but I do tend to feel things quite strongly, but equally I could say a phrase and really not feel anything at all because that's like a robotic um, emotionless affirmation and I'm happy not to feel anything in that case because I know that they're more, they're more productive, those affirmations, if I don't have a feeling attached, but when you just say a word like that, it has so much power, so you focus on detachment. Why is detachment so... Um, powerful because it's a shift in energy it's a release energy it's not a push energy it's not a chase energy so that thing that you want has to come in at some point when you have when you are much more detached it is much more drawn to you um, you'll find like when you're detached from people they're the ones that are contacting you they're the ones that want to see you because that element of detachment that you have I'm not saying it's they don't know that you're detached so they're not attracted to you because they know that you're detached they just feel your detachment, but they don't know what, what that is. But you know how keen you've been on somebody when they, when you're, you're really attached to somebody, uh, they don't seem bothered at all, but that's because you're hugely attached. So their detachment is way more attractive to you. So you're more and more drawn to them because they're so detached. If they turned around and started being crazy into you, you'd start backing off a little bit. You probably wouldn't be able to help it. So it is a, just getting that energetic balance. So, Work at detachment as a life skill because it will help you in life in every single situation. When you want something, you'll know you want it. You'll know that the inside as a reflect, the outside is a reflection of the inside. You'll know that instinctively, and you'll know that your level of attachment to the outcome is going to be how this unfolds for you, or whether it unfolds or not in that time frame. When you let go of it to a degree, so when you practice detachment as a skill then when you want something, you will naturally already be in that um, energy of detachment over attachment. You will be way more detached anyway. That energy will be dominant. The attachment energy will not be dominant. So it really is worth working at. It really is. It's just, you cannot go wrong with it. You cannot hurt yourself by doing it. All you can do is make yourself feel better, feel good. And the prospects for you will just open up. They really will. And maybe you start doing this in a day you feel better or maybe it takes a few weeks. I really don't know, different things vary, it varies with me. Some things that I, and mostly everything I've done, manifestation was, is this kind of thing. And then I know that what I want is just gonna come naturally at some point because I'm in a, I'm in a good state of detachment. So I'm, in, I'm just in a good overall state basically. And if I feel myself becoming slightly attached and I have a word with myself and then I will go detachment and I will feel the energy of detachment let it just sit there with me for a bit and then go and do something else, distract myself, go back to it again until I get back to that, um, that energy of detachment that I am most of the time. Occasionally with something you really want, it is a little, you can be triggered into that energy, but you can bring yourself back. It's all about practice, all about practice. And if you can get good at this, then everything else happens much more naturally and you don't go into try hard mode with things. That's what I don't do anymore. Never go into try hard mode, ever because I know that it will not help. Okay, the magic of detachment. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'd love you to do that.